And welcome aboard, ladies and gentlemen. It's the Steve Malsberg Show live from our New York City studios. Your phone calls in the next segment, 877 Newsmax. That's 877 639 7629. Start calling now. We'll get to our guest, Larry Clayman, uh, in just a moment. Uh, but first, Barack Obama held a press conference just a little while ago, and one of the questions that came up naturally uh, involved the Supreme Court. First, let me tell you that uh, the uh, body of uh, the late Justice uh, Antonin Scalia will lay in repose uh, at the Supreme Court on Friday of this week. Burial will be on Saturday. Today, as is tradition, uh, black drapery covered the courtroom doors and his chair and his bench were covered with black wool crepe. And uh, again, what we need to remember here, and we're going to talk to Larry about the circumstances surrounding uh, the death, uh, but um, so many people, a man with uh, so many children and grandchildren and beloved by so many others, will be sorely missed. But let's go to the president. Here's what he had to say when asked about uh, the battle with Republicans shaping up over this uh, uh, vacancy on the court. The Constitution is pretty clear about what is supposed to happen now. When there is a vacancy on the Supreme Court, the President of the United States is to nominate someone. The Senate is to consider that nomination and either they disapprove of that nominee or that nominee is elevated to the Supreme Court. Okay, well, um, he talks about the Constitution. I believe, and Larry could correct me when we get to him, there's nothing in the Constitution that says they have to do anything except advise and consent, and if they don't take it up and don't hold hearings, that's their prerogative. There's, there hasn't always been nine members of the Supreme Court. At one point, Roosevelt wanted 15. There used to be more. There used to be less. So this nine number is an arbitrary number. Now, um, he was asked this question because a lot of people have speculated that he's going to nominate somebody so moderate, so middle of the road, so fair, that the Republicans are going to have to have to acquiesce. Watch. Following up on that, should we interpret your comments just now that you are likely to choose a moderate nominee? Would you consider? No. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I, the, uh, I, I, I don't know where you found that. You shouldn't assume anything about the qualifications of the nominee, otherwise, other than they're going to be well qualified. No. No. He's not going to choose a, a moderate. Now, here's a man who voted to filibuster Samuel Alito, eventually voted no, of course, and when asked about that today, he had nothing to say about it. I'm surprised he was asked about it. Here's a man who said that uh, the, the, the Chief Justice Roberts, now Chief Justice, was qualified, but he couldn't bring himself to vote for him either. Now he demands of the Senate what he as a senator couldn't bring himself to do. All right, now before we get to Larry Klayman and talk about all this, Dick Morris will join us in a little while and watch some of what he's going to comment on. You'll have to wait to find out.